Okay, today we're going to take a look at S'more. S'more is a way to do desktop publishing on the net. You can make flyers or posters to show your ideas in one place. Let's go ahead and try it now. You have a choice of signing up with Facebook, which you don't want to do, or you can sign up without Facebook, which is what you need to do. Be sure not to put your entire name in the blanks so that you can protect your privacy. Enter an email and a password. And as you can see, I filled this out and then I can hit sign up. As you can see, I've logged in and I'm on the page where I can start a new flyer. Let's go ahead and do products since you're going to be sharing ideas with other people. The first thing I want you to do is to start by picking a title. You click in the box. Here I've entered a title, Web 2.0 Tools, and my subtitle is You Too Can Avoid Death by PowerPoint. It's not required that you put a subtitle, but you can and when I am done with that I hit done and you can see that my titles up at the top. The next thing is if I wanted to add other media to my poster I can hit the plus button and I have a choice of adding some text, putting another title, a hyperlink, adding a video clip, adding my voice, inserting a picture, a calendar event, or a biography. Let's go ahead and pick picture. I'm going to insert a picture that shows an example of a web 2.02 and you can see that I added the picture for the Voki. Now I can add text. When I'm done with the text, I will hit done. I can move it up. I can um, add additional media. Let's do another one. Let's add another picture. I'm going to pick Prezi because you know that I like to use Prezi. I hit the plus to add more media. I'm going to add a text box. Hit done. And I'm going to move that above. And one more picture. Let's add live binders. I think I'll add a text box. And, uh, all these other things on the page I don't need. If you want, you can exit them out and remove them. I forgot to move that up. Now you see that I have my three Web 2.0 tools, but you know, I'm looking at the design and I don't really like this design. It's kind of boring looking. If I click on handwritten, I get something that looks a little bit more interesting. Let's look at the different options. I think I like vintage. I can change the colors and I can use different fonts. The next thing you want to do is you want to save your work and you can save it while you're working on it so that you're sure that you don't lose it if you ex accidentally close out. So after you save your work, you can say that you're done editing if you like the way it looks. Otherwise, you can continue dragging your pictures and your media to different places where you want them. But if you're done editing, hit done editing and then you can preview it, you can print it, you can share it via email. You might want to email your work to your teacher or you can get a link to embed it. If you have any questions on how to make a s'more poster, please don't hesitate to ask me.